Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the best investments that you can make in your film career. And spoiler alert, film school is not one of them. Everyone invests in their career, or at least they should. That is how you don't end up doing the same job again and again, year after year, and retiring while still kind of at the bottom of the pile. But there are some investments that are gonna give you a good return on the time and money you spend on them, meaning they're gonna translate into higher wages, more opportunities, uh, more seniority, more authority, uh, more creativity and in the positions that you do. And there's ones that aren't gonna do that. So what's a smart bet and what isn't? I'm gonna start with a slightly controversial one and that is your network. And I'm not saying that's meeting people for drinks and hanging out with your friends. It means that you are working on projects for less than you would normally work for to work in a higher position or at least in with new people uh, that you don't normally work for. Now, if you ever moved to a new place and tried to create a network or tried to move into a new industry and get to know people in that industry, it can be really tough. You can go to network events and shake hands and give out cards and add people on Facebook, uh, but it can be really hard to get your foot in the door. There is, however, a really good principle, which is you go first. If you contact someone and say, I want to shoot behind the scenes for you. I'm prepared to volunteer um, or work for free or work for a discounted rate um, on your sets you will meet with a totally different response than if you show up asking for a job. Working for free is pretty controversial, but ultimately, until you've proven yourself and until people know that you're gonna show up on time, work hard, and do a good job, you have to be the one who volunteers your time and effort in order to get to know people and and give them something of value in order for them to take a chance on you. If you're good enough, then they will hire you again at your full price. Or they'll move on to the next free person, in which case you don't wanna work for them anyway. But you may meet someone else on that set that will give you a job. The second way to invest in your film career is gear. Uh, it kind of ties into the first point because if you have a camera or lenses or lights or a car, um, it's much easier to create a network by volunteering to use those things for other people's projects. Now, I'm not a fan of blindly buying gear and thinking that it's gonna help your career, but if you have a camera and you learn how to use it inside out uh, by taking one of the great camera courses on canonmasterclass.com, for instance, you can show up uh, with your gear, know how to use it. Uh, that is a huge foot in the door. That is a big thing that you'll have over other people. Having your gear also allows you to shoot your own projects and test things and discover things. If you see a music video or a short film or a feature film with a crazy technique that you'd like to try, if you have your own gear, you can go out and try it. You can put it on social media, you can invite people to comment about it, and that's another great way of building your network, investing yourself, and getting more work. A third great way to invest in yourself is your education. Now, by this I don't mean film school. Uh, unless you're someone else is paying for you to go film school, uh, which in which case take the money and spend the three years and have fun. By this I mean courses on individual things like new cameras, new equipment like Steadicams or gimbals, even digital courses like CanonMasterclass.com. Uh, there is the unlimited program now where you can access all 20 hours of content for $14 a month. Check it out. But also in-person courses, uh, unions give out great courses on safety and apart from it being a big advantage of knowing how to be on set safely, you also are likely to meet other people there that can help your career and help you find more work. A fourth way to invest in your film career is your location. If you are not living in New York or Los Angeles or if you're overseas in a major city where there is film production, it is a huge advantage for you to move to those places, not just because you're gonna get work, but when I lived in LA and New York, it was so much easier uh, to find talent to work with, meaning hiring actors, to find collaborators to work with, uh, meaning people for my crew, and to find money uh, and, and jobs to shoot stuff. Yes, living in Vermont is fantastic, and I actually am gonna do an upcoming video about how I have no regrets of moving here, uh, but it, it certainly, um, for me, in my stage in the career, I don't need those things as much. If you are starting out in the film industry, 100% move to Los Angeles or New York, uh, get to know people there, put down roots, build a network. Uh, it will be much, much easier to do that where films are being shot. Uh, Atlanta is another good place. 
than it will be in the middle of nowhere. The fifth and final thing about investing in your film career is time. And I don't mean the time on other people's sets that I talked about in the, in the first point. I mean the years of staying with it and staying at it and allowing your career to take hold. It is not a case that you can just move to LA or New York, uh, spend a couple of months or a couple of weeks uh, going to events and then your career takes off. Sometimes that happens. More often than not, it takes at least a couple of years uh, of working other jobs in order to uh, land that job that opens those doors that means that you can support yourself from this. How are you gonna support yourself for those two or three or four years that it takes until your film career takes off? You'll either be working other part-time jobs. Um, the reason hospitality is so uh, popular is because it's flexible and you can usually trade shifts with people and take time off. Uh, or you're working in corporate video. I knew a guy who was shooting uh, plastic surgery operations and liposuction um, in order to get experience with the camera, save money for his own gear, and then ultimately save for his move to LA where he then started um, working on TV shows. The reality of this is that a lot of people have family support and spend tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of someone else's money even after film school in order to get their career off the ground. And it is really a, an uneven game. It's like Moneyball in that you're competing with people who have nothing to do but focus on their film career when you're potentially having to work uh, a full-time job and try and break into the film industry uh, in, your, in your free time. I would reiterate that it is a long-term project. Um, this is gonna be a career for the next 30 years two years breaking in or um, investing in yourself to try and make that uh, happen isn't in the grand scheme of things that big of a deal, but it certainly feels like it when you're doing it. They're my five top investments in your film career. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out videos on this channel, like, subscribe, check out canonmasterclass.com and I will see you next time.